Breaking overnight, there are three new cases of COVID-19 on Saipan. Three males ages 19, 25 and 27 are in stable condition, asymptomatic and isolated at Kanoa Resort after testing positive. The NMI Governor's Task Force says that it isn't clear if the cases are caused by current infections or if the tests are detecting viral debris of a prior infection. CHCC explains that the cases were most likely exposed through a small gathering of people from different households. As the number of cases increases in the Commonwealth, NMI Governor Ralph Torres also unveiled the CNMI alternate care site with a tour for the legislature and media today at Kanoa Resort. Though members of the minority say that they were not invited to the tour, the media rode on a bus with the governor and members of his task force to the alternate care site. Every case is concerning, right? Okay. Um, obviously, uh, we don't want to get uh, any more cases. But the fact that um, our numbers are still low and our community continues to do social distancing. Helios Engineering Group are the lead designers with their engineers creating state-of-the-art facilities, ranging from triage to pharmacy storage. The site is 70% completed. Patrick Guerrero is the governor's authorized representative, who was along for the over one-hour tour. This year now is going to be a 50 ICU bed uh, facility on the first level. Uh, and on this main wing, uh, up above uh, five floors, uh, 152 mid-level care rooms. Uh, the property uh, itself uh, has an additional 72 rooms uh, on the tower side. Governor Torres took questions throughout the tour, sharing how he hopes the site is never used. It's going to be costly, but you know, when you're talking about health, price is not an option. Uh, we don't deter making the right decision because we're short of funding. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Tomas Manglotnya.